Good morning, church. Let's take a look at the book of John 6, verse 63. Viewers, I mean, those who are under the influence of my voice, you are welcome. John 6, verse 63. The Spirit gives life, and the flesh can for nothing. The word I have spoke to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Mm. Mean what you have been hearing since morning here, they are full of spirit and life. The testimony, they are full of spirit and life. How does the, the message appear to you? What do you want to do with the message? The message, they are spirit and life. This is the word from Jesus. Since God's word is spirit, it has ability to quicken us spiritually. That is to speed up, dispatch, you know, to make it happen. Quicken us spiritually. It has the ability. It has the ability to form spiritual force within our hearts. Ability to form, to develop spiritual force within our heart or within our spirit. Heart mean spirit of man. Heart mean spirit of man. Heart. Since God's word is spirit, because as the Bible says, the way I speak are full of spirit and life. Mean God's word is spirit. And since God's word is spirit, it has the ability to develop spiritual force. That is, ability to quicken us spiritually. And that spiritual force within our hearts, that is, within our spirit, it has the ability. I will emphasize on it because it's very important. But when you now live here, you want to open your Bible, what is the ability to, to quicken, ability to develop? It's not here. I'm just giving you the meaning of what the Bible says. After reading the Bible, I need to examine those words in the light of God's word. Because there are many literature, history about God's generous, but you need to know what it means. That is, ability to develop spiritual force within, not just spiritual, but within our heart or our spirit. How does this happen? This happens when we pay attention to God's word. When we pay attention to God's word, we will find that faith comes spontaneously when you pay attention. That is, to pay attention, you know what I mean? To, to give all. Not like the way you pay attention to, to your academy, your history, your chemistry, your physics, your, your mathematics in the school. Your, no. Attention means with all your heart. What you have been listening to, or hearing this morning can develop spiritual force within your heart. Spiritual force within your heart called faith. When that happens, faith forms. When that happens within your heart, 
When that happens within your spirit, faith form. You call it faith. And how does this happen? This happens when we pay attention. Not this attention. No, 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 that's. That is, I'm talking to you. Pay attention or the testimony you hear. You examine them, you follow them, and you find it difficult to pay attention. Me, you have to engage in prayer. This is why we give you this faith bracelets. When you are listening to the word of God and you find it difficult to pay attention, you can find it difficult to pay attention when your heart is in is divided. You know there's so much conflicts for against, for against in your heart. Your heart will be going up, down, no, no, no. Then engage in what? In prayer. So when you engage in prayer, you reset your heart. When our heart is not set, you cannot pay attention. There are many in the church right now as we are talking, that their heart is for, against, for, against, for, against. Then in this case, take your faith bracelets. Begin the battle to reset your belief. The word believing means to commit ourselves and our things to God and trust him to accompany them. Say believing means committing yourself and your things to God and trust in him to accomplish them. Simple. Now, talk of faith. If believing means committing yourself and your team to God and trust in him to accomplish them, faith also means committing yourself and your things to someone else wiser, smarter, cleverer, powerful than you. That is faith. You know, the word faith is a trust. It's a trust. T R U S T. It's just a trust. Out of the fact that other party is honest, reliable, faithful. And who is faithful? Who is honest? As a human being, you cannot be reliable 24 7. Because in this world, there will be tribulation. There will be dishonest. Share up. I will help you. That's Jesus. When you pay attention to God's word, you will find that faith comes spontaneously. These are the reasons why we give this uh, faith business. For faith to come spontaneously, we need to meditate on God's word and turn it over and over and over again in our hearts. For faith to form, that is spiritual force, to form within our hearts, spiritual force to form within our spirit, we need to meditate on God's word and turn it over and over and over again 
in our hearts. The more we meditate and turn it over and over in our heart, the more our spirit acts on God's word. And when our spirit acts on God's word, it forms faith. Faith cannot form without our spirit art. Arts, like magnet and nay. When you carry a magnet, it attracts nay. That is, your spirit must attract word to form faith. And for your spirit to attract, that is your art, art means spirit, to act on God's word, you need to meditate. Take more of me, give me more of you. Lord, take more of me, give me more of you. More of your faithfulness, more of kindness, more of humility, more of holiness, more of your goodness. Not out this way. Meditation means art. Art of meditation is more than thinking above thinking. It's upper house. Meditation is upper house. Thinking is lower house. When you are thinking, me concern your problem, trouble you have, but you cannot go into meditation because of your problem. It is just thinking, you think, ah, what will I do now? I'm tired of this world. I don't know what is wrong with me. No, 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 I'm, no I don't know, I'm, I'm fed up. You are thinking at lower house, but meditation is upper house, where you likely you are genuine, contact the Spirit of God. Thinking, lower house, meditation, upper house. We don't think about the Word of God. We meditate about the Word of God. We only think about our worry, our situation, our friend, our loved one, People are not we think about them, but we cannot meditate about them. We only meditate on God's word. We don't think on God's word. Meditate on God's word is a visit with him. If you want to visit God, just meditate. It's a visit with God. Now, I take it. The more you meditate on God's word and turn it over, and over and over in your heart, the more your spirit acts on the word. Okay, to meditate now, this faith bracelet will help you. It only help. There are many also that can help, but because. To not pay attention today is so difficult. You need someone, something on the outside to help you. This is it. Something on the outside to help you. Mostly when you are inside the vehicle and the vehicle is on motion or inside the plane, you can be reading at the same time. You fire on. You know, I'm saying something while talking to you. What we are lacking is not a greater faith, but a greater God. That is, what you need is greater God, not a greater faith. We need to know the faithfulness and trustworthiness of God. This is why we often allow testimony because it's one of the easier way to be familiar to God, to understand God, that testimony, which seems to be so much 
easier to surrender. Testimony. The moment you realize that God is reliable, your faith will simultaneously grow. That is, you see testimony, people say, I have cancer and I was praying for, and they play for you how the person were praying for. And uh, that cancer, suddenly the person say, this is my medical report. I'm here. I'm free now. Before now, I could not walk, but now I can walk. Now, before now, I could not see. I'm, I was blind. Now, see before, see after. I can see now. Now, before now, I could not eat. Now, I could eat. The moment you realize God is reliable, trustworthy, your faith will simultaneously grow. That is, simultaneously, that is side by side. You just find yourself go, ah. You, you, you say, mm. You don't pray before. After the service, you start praying. You used to drink before. After the service, you say, no, I'm not going to drink again. God does not like that. You are very stingy. In moment, somebody says, Uncle, I'm, I, I don't have money to eat. <laughs> have the money. May increase in fear because God has a nature that make it easy. Tell your neighbor. Men have faith. Men increase in faith because God has a nature that make it easy. Yes. Then somebody stand here and say, I was blind and you are able to see the video where the person was led. And truly, the person was blind. And then you now see the pastor stretching hand, be here in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. And the person, ah, I can see, I can see, I can see. And the person now coming to testify. Men have faith. Men increase in faith because God has a nature that makes it easy. Yes, that is nature of God coming out. The healing is nature of God. And God is the one that he is a healer. So they will be healed. Be restored. And they say, uh, I can see, I can see, I can see. Uh -huh. Now, you see testimony again. You can see this is healing before and after. The moment you realize God is reliable and trustworthy, your faith will simultaneously grow. The Bible says in every issue, every matter, there are promises. As long as you have faith, God will work for you. In every issue, every matter, there are promises in the Bible that as long as you have faith, God will work for you. Amen. So indeed, when you examine your life, personally examine your life, you will know how much faith you have. Just examine your life. Remember, faith is natural. Faith is not something manufactured or produced within. No. So at the beginning, I said to you that since God's word is spirit, it has the ability to develop spiritual force within our heart or 
our spirit. So definitely it comes from Baba God. And uh, also I could remember I told you here that uh, in that test which I was trying to educate you more about faith, that you have faith, you increase in faith because God has a nature that make it easy. Tell your neighbor, I have faith. I increase in faith because God has a nature that make it easy. So it means faith originate from where? From God. So thank you.